We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals. And then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Tonic's 17th birthday, so we're so excited to celebrate with you and bring you some amazing new products only on a Chanda. Tune in for 11 days of brilliant shows featuring our brand new media die sets, flower dies, stamps, the amazing new gift boxes, the Legacy Keeper wallet die set. Nouveau Vintage Drops, they're amazing, Expanding Mooses and many more. So join myself and Paola from 6pm on the 6th of September for the launch of Tonic Birthday Celebrations. Our thanks to Matt for the previous hour. Hello, good evening, how are you? Oh my goodness, we had one of the busiest shows ever in the history of Ho Chanda. It's great, isn't it? And do you know something? It was great to be part of that. It's great to be part of the Ho Chanda family and it's great to be part of your homes tonight. Now we are extremely limited stock on the one day special. If you are a parchment crafter, if you're new to parchment, the outside beautiful pico cutting that you can do is amazing isn't it it really really is but something like this would probably take conservatively about an hour to do to go all the way around the outside however now you can do it in perhaps under nine seconds think that's a good idea yes it is this is the one day special and is a sensational deal for you it's available on flexi buy I'll run through the mechanics and then we're going to introduce you to Paul and Linda on the show zero three nine six seven zero you can come right in that's your item number hello hello hello, hello. Uh, if you want to go for it on flexi buy you're saving 40 pounds that's an incredible deal you are kind of well you are really you're getting three for the price you're getting four sorry for the price of three <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, where's my head at? Uh, we've been so, so busy, and we really have. We do appreciate uh, the cues that we have on the phones, but thank you for bearing with us. Um, wow, Paul, what wow, an amazing... Wow, doesn't even come into it, does it, really? It doesn't, does it? I mean, I mean Linda. <laughs> and Linda, of course, world-class parchment well, crafter. Yeah, but I knew this was going to happen. I yeah. just <laughs> knew it. When I saw them, I knew it. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's, a, that's a great testament, really, because yeah. you are at the top of your game. You really, really are. And you love parchment. You love to do the pico cutting. You love to do all the delicate yes. detail. Yeah. But why do you love these so much? Because this is more of a mechanical way of getting the result. Well, I am a traditionalist at heart, but I... You know, I, I've, I often do a project and I've spent hours and hours and hours and I'm cutting around and I think, oh gosh, I've had enough of this cutting, you know, it's monotonous. And, you know, and then you've got to, um, you've got to layer it or put it on the card and it doesn't quite hit the spot and you think it needs more layers. And so then it takes another half a day, yes. maybe a whole day, to, to finish it off mm. and make it look really nice. When all you've got to do is cut yourself a load of layers in one go or, you know, even out of your spare pieces of parchment because the, the inner pico edge is as neat as the outer pico edge. So when you're cutting a piece of parchment, you cut a circle out, yes. you then your aperture is as neat as your mm. circle, which you don't get. I mean, you're throwing your parchment away when you cut in with the scissors, yeah. you know, and it's just, you know, spend that time, like you said earlier, 
spend our time on the project, doing the beautiful pico cutting within, and let these take care of the outer edge. Yeah, what a lovely way of putting you know. that. That really is. Now, Linda, we're going to be seeing you in a moment's time, so we'll let you get okay, ready. Thank you. We'll let you get ready for your next demonstration. It's so exciting. Uh, now, Paul, we're going to run through the products that we've got here with Paul, because as you can see, we've got dies and we've got groovy plates as well. So I'll That's just right. lean over and yep, grab the boards to run you through the concept of what we've got here. And what I'll do is I'll start so with So while you're just going pack. through that, when you get this packet, I mean, it's massive. This is how it's going to come to you. So you're going to get it in this beautiful um, clamshell. Um, and you can see you've got the four different groovy plates down one side and the four different... Um, Dies, dies. Uh, yes. now. And then when you turn it around, so this is how it's going to come to you when you get it home. So it's really substantial as well. Yeah. And I mean, you know what? Make a nice gift for somebody, won't it? <laughs> Easy to wrap. Maybe we can I'd like to papers. receive a gift like this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, the concept of it is, is fabulous. It really, really is. So just to show you and run you through what we've got here. So this is using the line system with the groovy plates with the die. So we've already cut these out with the die. Die, that's right. Yeah, so if you just put the die through the machine, this is exactly what you're going to get. Now, traditionally, as Linda will explain in parchment, if you're doing pico cutting, you need an edge to go up to to give it that professional look. So what we've done is we've incorporated the groovy plates to give you either a single line as if you've done it traditionally, or a double line. Because again, we found from experience, a lot of traditional pitchers like that double line to yes. give it that elegant finish. And look at the precision that you're getting there with that double line. Because you're using the groovy plates, you've got that equal distance between the two lines, which gives you that professional finish. And if you wanted more, why don't you? You can do because you've got the capability with the nesting of those groovy plates. So that's on your plain parchment. And then we're looking at it here on designer paper, yep. designer parchment and designer card. So we're taking it to a next level. It is. And it, so again, it's sometimes when you're doing a piece that you, you want to give it that really sort of nice finish as Linda was talking about. And by adding layers, it gives it that depth to it. But you're prevented from, not prevented, you're sort of put off from doing yes. that because you know, okay, the square's going to get bigger or the circle's going to get bigger and bigger and therefore it's more perforating yes. and more cutting out. Yeah, and you want to spend more time with the intricate detail inside your cars because that really is what your yeah. parchment artwork is all about. So we're moving on to the nested uh, squares here. So why are these so beneficial to have So again, sizes? because of the sizes that they are, it gives you the perfect matting and layering. Um, so so it gives you the equal measurements around. But even doing something like this, I mean, Linda did this in the six o'clock launch show by taking parchment of different layers and, off and layering it onto that card. Now, just to put that into perspective, I'm just going to lean over and grab the square die just to put, and I'll put there that at one side of it. Uh, so you've got part of it just to show you the edging that you've got, the outer edge and the inside edge. So you can do both sides. Have you ever done that before or taken the time to do that? Now you can because here is your nest of dies and you've got the possibility and the capability of not just cutting on the outside but also cutting on the inside as well to create that border and you can see the details that we've got there and this is a great example of so that. this one's done by Maria and if we look we've got the beautiful pico edge on the very light green on the outside edge and then we've then got another layer here where we've got it in the darker green, but Maria's also pico cut the inside as well. So doing the actual pico cutting with the dies would have probably taken less than a minute to get those layers. And then that's less than more a minute, time. And then it gives you the time to, to concentrate on that design inside. And that's what we mean by a game changer. It's going to change the way you craft because it's going to make you almost more of a crafter as well and bringing the elements of paper and card into it as well. Now we also have nested pico circles. Uh, so again, beautifully done. Um, and again, you can cut on the inside and the outside of this of circles and start to layer up your projects like the one that Paul has there. Isn't this one stunning? So this one's done by Karis and Karis is new to the design team. But but you can see she's taken all several of the different circles and offset them but doesn't that look so effective and she's still done the traditional pico cutting yes. on the inner part 
That's so it allows you to concentrate on that and not worry about the outside. That is incredible. We've also got your rectangles as well. Um, and again, I'm just going to get the die and place it at the side so you can get it into perspective. So you've got the rectangles as well. Because it's not always about squares and circles. We can change that shape so you've got your rectangles just there. Again, cutting on the inside and the outside, giving you perhaps a fresh look to your cards instead of using squares, using those rectangles. So this one's done by Tina and we can see if we go in close, we've got the designer paper, we've got the parchment, we've got another piece of designer paper and then we've got parchment again. But it's that delicate finish of the pico yeah, cut is. and you'll notice the oval in the middle well, that has the pico cutting as well because guess what there is an oval shaped die and groovy plate available for you so you've got your squares you've got your rectangles you've got your circles and you've got your ovals as well and there it is just to show you on the board itself the different sizes that you can make and create and here's another sample that Paul wants to show you to reiterate that oh, upside down so again this one's been done with cards mm. and this is by D and I just love this because again you can't pico cut on cards no. or paper me and Barbara tried it about two and a half years ago when we were just getting into the pico cutting and I said I wonder whether we can do it on paper no chance it just looks as if you ripped it so you can get these beautiful layers um, as a frame so if you're selling your cards or you want to do a piece of artwork then this is perfect for getting that professional finish. That, I mean, it's amazing, is it? It takes your crafting to the next level, but it also gives you so many different opportunities with the card and the parchment. Here's a beautiful example. We've got a lovely, gorgeous dream catcher here, and you've got all of that lovely detail that's in there, but again, you've got the opportunity to finish off that project with that Pico cut cutting all the way around the outside of the oval, but also on the outside of the square as well. So that one, again, done by Becca. Becca's, you know Becca, she's very new to yes. um, parchment craft. And I know for, for, to assemble this, it would have taken so much more long. Mm. I'd say at least two hours, at least, to get all that perforating or the pico cutting to finish that card. Yeah, it is incredible. And here's another example. Um, and we do absolutely love this system. And you do as well. And again, it finishes it off so perfectly just to have not just the pico cutting, but the <laughs> edges as well. Paul. That double line, that tram line, as I call it. I don't know if that's the right term, um, but the tram line of finish, it just gives it that yeah. elegance. It yeah. really does. It certainly does. Oh, my goodness. Over 98% of the stock has gone. So if you do want to get hold of this, as many, 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 many of you have already, many. please head to the website. <laughs> many. Please head to the website, check out your baskets, go to the phone lines. You are saving £40 on your one-day special, which is the price of one of the dies and plate sets. And they are available individually, but this is the best way to get it, the best value Definitely. for money. Four for the price of three. Now you've got three flexi buys on here, making it affordable to you. Thirty-nine pounds and ninety-seven pence. Your first payment, which is actually the price of one of the sets. Mm. So it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? We'll take your PMP on your first payment, unless you're a Freedom member. Then it's a delivered price. Then we'll take another payment four weeks later, and another payment four weeks later after that. So it's an instalment of three, interest-free. It means you get them home and start playing with them sooner rather than later. Let's take a look at some inspiration.
Clarity Stamps celebrating 25 years, their jubilee, and we're so very, very honoured to be part of those celebrations with the worldwide launch of this system, Game Changing. <laughs> and of course, we've got the world master when it comes to parchment. <laughs> now, if anyone's joining us and they've not seen you before, or they've seen you on her Chanda, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and why I keep saying you are oh, uh, the world master? <laughs> I you, prefer you are, to forget about that I one. Know, you're, <laughs> you're too modest, but you are. You are, you are. And if you just let the people know at home why. Well, I've been doing parchment craft for uh, 21 years now, and um, I became a Pergamano tutor about 15 years ago. And. Um, they made me a master teacher about seven or eight years ago, which was a great honour for me. You couldn't apply for the job. Mm. It, you know, the, the title was bestowed upon you. Mm. And there was only other, one other master teacher, and, and that was Gertie Hoffman, who lives in the Netherlands. So they decided they needed a master teacher in the UK, and uh, I got it. Well, we're privileged. It was lovely. Yes, it was lovely. and we're privileged yeah. to have you here. Uh, what are we going to take a look at, Linda, with the next demonstration? Well, I thought I'd, I'd show you, um, before they actually sell out, uh, yeah. what you can do with some squares. I, I'll show you how to cut, but, you know, a lot of people know how to cut, and we cut out some squares okay. in the first uh, show. But I, I want to show you this Christmas tree, but I'm going to make an easier version of it. But what I also wanted to show you, that's out of squares, is this card, which is made out of ovals so we've got the ovals in there that's and sweet. and that's got um, a square frame around it using the nested square dies and this one has an oval frame using the the nested oval dies. Doesn't it make a difference? Yeah mm. yeah and I mean you know so easy you can cut three three layers at a time so you could do the the, the layers of the skirt in, in two cuts, you know, two Perfect. passes of the machine. And that's incorporating um, some of Tina's parchments as well in, into that. But I'm going to do the tree now. I'm going to do the dress at 9 o'clock tomorrow okay. morning. All being well. All being well. <laughs> All being yes. well. Incredibly busy. Again, do check out your baskets. If you can gain access to a website, that's the best way to order, but we are getting through your calls. So thank you. So we, we cut out a lot of squares yes. in the first show. I won't show you how to cut out a square now, but I will show you how to cut out a frame. Okay. Okay? But I'm going to cut a round frame because I'm going to make a smaller tree yes. in a different colour and I'm going to I'm going to do a round frame. Okay? Oh. So we position our and I'm going to cut it out of parchment and card at the same time to give that frame a lovely a lovely depth brilliant bit of gavel as we say in a bit of bit of gavel as we say in Wales bit of gavel, give it a bit of gavel give it a bit of gavel <laughs> I like that what does it mean I don't know <laughs> okay. bit of we don't know. but a just give it a bit of gavel a bit <laughs> of substance <laughs> yeah probably right. give it a bit of you know oomph. a bit of oomph yeah yeah so I've got my parchment I've got a piece of card underneath okay okay and I'm putting the two discs, the two circles together, and I'm going to hold them in place with a groovy tab. Now we have had an email that's coming from Karen, so thank you for your email, Karen. She says, great idea by Clarity once again. She would like to ask a question. Of course you can, Karen. Of course you can, yeah. Be she lovely. says, which way would you recommend to make the design? Would you do the essential design first and then die cut the edges, or would you die cut the edges first and then put your central design afterwards? I would, question. I would tend to die cut it first and yeah. then do the design, um, especially if your design is up to very close to the to the the, the actual outline. Okay. Yes. If you're if you if you're doing a design with something small in the middle, yeah. Do that first. You know, you've got to try and think about this. If you if you want to put a small circle and then you're going to put a big square around, yeah. you can do it that way yeah. because you're not die cutting very close. But I would say it's easier to die cut it first and then position your circle. Because if you die cut it and you think, oh, where's the middle? So you're doing a square. Yeah. Just draw parallel lines with your white pencil on your parchment. Get the, Get the middle and then rub out your lines. You see? My pencils Brilliant. are really handy. Brilliant. Thank, okay. thank you for your email. Thank you, Karen. Um, now we've got some news. We're technically sold out of the one day special. Ooh. Technically sold out of the one day special, but we're going to carry on with the demonstration. Please um, do check out your baskets. Now we do have the dies available on a pick and mix. 
Now that's without the groovy plays, but the die's on their own. So you can choose any two, and you're saving £10 by doing that. So head to the website, give our call centre uh, a call to get that sorted. Sorry, Linda, I just that's need okay, to... That's OK, it's not a problem. Not a problem, it's important. So I'm going to put this through my machine, my Gemini. And these will work for all, um, pretty much all of your die cutting machines out there on the market. No, it was cut now because it didn't make a noise. Oh, it, yes, it's cut. There we are. Sometimes, you know, if you're cutting a thickness, it might uh, help to put it through twice. Yes. But um, I find the, the Gemini is really good for um, cutting. And the, 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 you can cut three layers of parchment at a time. You can cut more. But I find the picos lose their clarity. Right. If you cut more well, than three. What a good description. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there we are. Now then, if I put that there okay. to show you. So, here's where you cut down on your waist. So I've actually got a circle I can use oh. at another time. I've actually got my frame yes. that I'm going to put on my card. And if I'm very careful, I can cut a square on that. And I've also got an aperture. Yes. Now, Linda, oh, I've just heard oh. something. We've been able to get some more of the one day oh, yeah. special Brilliant. on extended delivery. Oh, that is fantastic news. Now, quite clearly, a lot of work is going to be put into <laughs> getting this done. So it's going to be on extended delivery and we'll be dispatching those on the 11th of September. So it's not long to wait. Uh, it's my brother's birthday, actually. The 11th of September. So still get your orders in. The one day special is back on extended delivery so that Clarity can get all of those made for you. So that is fabulous news. Well done. Well done. Uh, still the same item number. Uh, come in on the websites, come in on the phone lines and get yeah, but remember, I don't know how long that's going to last. Uh, so it is available. We have a, a certain amount of stock available. And if you want it, I would definitely get to the website and check out your baskets to make sure you've got it. So you can cut a wider circle. It all depends. I mean, if you, if you get a circle of that width, if you leave one die out in between, say you did the sense and the ninth or the, yes. the sixth and the fourth or um, or you can make it even bigger if I did the seventh and the, yeah, you can, you know, yeah. the sixth and the ninth you know mm. it, it, it makes a, bi a bigger frame but it's quite a substantial frame and you could actually layer it if you wanted to you know I mean how often have you you couldn't do that no you couldn't do that yeah I mean you could take you ages to cut that it out would, through the scissors yes. it'd be but a labor of love yeah you wouldn't get that though no. So if you wanted to layer, like when you're laying, layering parchment, you can actually, if I was to layer that on there now, and then I was to layer something else, you could see, you can see your layers yes. coming through your parchment. But if you were to layer it with your piece of card, or even copy paper, yes. do it, and then, and it gives you more substance then to put your, yeah. your dyes and things through. Okay, so that's just a little tip there. But you can see now I have three things out of that cut. Yes. Three things that I could use. So, um, and then with, when you've cut out your circle of parchment paper, you can actually decorate it. I've used a five in a circle tool there, needle tool, and then I've embossed oh, the dots nice. in between. So use your groovy guard to perforate so that your parchment doesn't crinkle because it's quite a narrow area. Yes. But uh, you, you can then decorate your pieces after you've die cut what them. What a lovely idea. Yeah. So I'll then show you then I've cut uh, um, squares out. So you could cut one, two, three, four, five, six. Six to make a tall tree. Okay. Cut less for a smaller tree. Okay. So we're doing a smaller card. So I, what have I got here? One, three, there we are. So what you do, the first thing you do, you've got your square. Yes. Okay. And you fold it in half. Okay. All right. Okay. And then when you fold it in half, you take your ruler and you measure halfway across. And then just, so can you see I've marked it with a pencil? You just put your nail on there and fold it down so that the bottom the edge meets the bottom. A bit like making a paper aeroplane. It is a bit, yeah, yeah. But it's lovely, you know. I mean, you've got that pico edge then on, on, the, on the bottom. Isn't that lovely? You and know. it gives you that look of a Christmas tree. Yeah, exactly. You like that. So you do that, 
and then with your white pencil you would mark if you want to decorate if you want to leave it as it is you don't have to mark it yeah. but why would you go and decorate the whole thing when you can't see it all okay okay that makes sense doesn't it, it? does yes cutting down time here things are getting really good <laughs> in part we craft we be do you know <laughs> so mark your white pencil there there and um if on the bottom layer you can decorate Perfect. it but because they're fitting in together it's not worth you decorating the, the bottom all the layers inside okay so you fold it down mark it so I've marked mine there and then you open it up and then you decorate it so fold it gently okay because you're going to open it out right. okay and then when you've decorated it then you fold it back okay okay and this time when you fold it back you can use a bone folder yeah. just to uh, just to score that line really really well and then what you do is you layer it up so you can see I have decorated that one on the inside yes. but the rest of it th those little flaps that are over and on the back so what you do is you get your card layer so I've got red and green so we've got you know this is so quick so you put your layers in the great thing is, if you're thinking about making these cards for Christmas as well, um, think of the finishing now that you can give them in that amount of time for a few seconds of putting it through your die cutting machine. So you can continue to make those cards for Christmas. That's right. Mm. I mean, cut three at a time, you yeah. know. Easy. Mix, oh, put a layer of paper in and make a paper one. Yeah. You know. So then we put a little bit of, of double sided tape on the back and just layer them up. So one fits into the other. That's so sweet. So you could. There we are. And just stick lovely. them down. And it's so easy, so simple, a quick Christmas card. You could then put some decoration on this if you wanted yes. to. Um, I just I just decorated the oval. That is lovely. I mean, you can make a wonky Christmas tree. You can see this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like us tonight when we go home. <laughs> you make a wonky one. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Right. But it does give you that element of choice, and it gives you the capability of creating and making some very, very professional-looking cards to give the completion, to give that finishing touch that perhaps you may have stayed away from because it's extra time for you. But now you're getting the time back to do exactly that now rosemary has emailed in good evening rosemary she says evening, wow, rosemary. wow 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 <laughs> uh, rosemary is delighted with the one day special she recently went to a workshop with you did she and linda put you pulled her to one side and you actually said why aren't you doing the pico work we didn't put, say it like that why are you doing the pico why aren't you doing the Pico work? She said that she didn't have the confidence yes. to actually risk spoiling uh, the, the artwork by actually doing shoddy cut work. Yeah. So, and she also says, right, yeah, she says her eyesight isn't very good oh, as yeah, well. See, this is yeah. ideal for people like Rosemary. She says isn't that it? Linda was so calm and helpful. That's oh, you. Oh, bless. And now she can die cut and create those Pico edges using the die. So that is lovely. There Thank you are. so much yeah. for your email. Yeah. Oh, there's more. She said, if anyone is hesitating, please remember all the time that you'll be saving yeah. by using these fresh cut dies, these fresh edge cut, uh, cut dies. Can't speak tonight. Um, but it, 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 that is, thank you so much, Rosemary. Yeah, You're quite you, Rosemary. right. We, we're not, these are not taking away from the traditional no. pico cutting. All, all it's doing is enhancing what you do and giving you the ability to do more you know giving you more time i mean you know that i was speaking to glennis yesterday glennis whitehead is on our yes. design team and she um she teaches and she's had to adapt some patterns for some of her ladies who have splints on their hands oh, right. um so she teaches a traditional and they can't do the pico cutting mm. so she's had to adapt the patterns and she says they're going to be delighted with these and she's also had a lady that's actually left because she couldn't pico cut oh. and she she just didn't like the look of the artwork without the pico cutting yeah. now you know this opens it up to um paper crafters traditional parchment crafters and groovy addicts and those that don't want to cut there's some people just don't want to cut yes you know. very well put <laughs> very well put um you can still bake your cake yeah. this is just going to be the icing yes. on your cake let's take yeah. a look at some inspiration
it's lovely to have your emails. It really is. And it's lovely for you to join us uh, for the show tonight. Oh, my goodness, we've had a busy, busy time. We really have. And we appreciate every single one of you joining us and checking out your baskets. Now, the one-day special is back on extended delivery. We've managed to get more for you, and we'll be dispatching those on the 11th of September. I don't know how long this stock will last, though. This is a one-day special that is supposed to last throughout the day tomorrow all the way until 6 o'clock tomorrow tomorrow night. I very much doubt that. I very much doubt that. So you're in at the right time. You're in at the right place. And now's the time to come on in, check out your baskets. And you can sit back and watch the shows tomorrow. Of course you can. And watch all the demonstrations and advice as well. So what is your one day special? Well, it's a game changer. We're calling it a game changer because it really will change the way you view, change the way you do, and change the way you create your parchment. This is not just for parchment, though. You can also use this with card as well. Now, in parchment, traditionally, doing all the pico cutting really makes your artwork stand out. Now you can do that on the outside with these apertures that we've got for you, with the dies that we've got. And you can use them in so many different ways. There are different shapes available for you, and they're nesting, which means you can start to layer up as well. I know, you can layer up your parchment in a matter of seconds before that might have taken you matter of hours, a matter of days to do. Now you can do it in a matter of seconds. That means you can still concentrate on the intricate, detailed work that you so, so love to do. Now, your one day special includes your nesting plates, you've got your squares, your circles, your rectangles and your ovals. You've also got the groovy plates. That's what they are below. These are matching groovy plates. So this gives you a chance now to make and create those beautiful, precise, and that's what parchment's all about, precise, beautiful frameworks that go around, whether they are in the rectangles, whether they're in the ovals, squares, or the circles, making all the difference. Now, at this price, it's four for the price of three. You can buy individually the sets if you want to. The details will come in at the bottom of the screen for the square, for example, $39.98. You're saving £40 on your one-day special. And that first flexi-buy payment, $39.97, is the price of one set. So, to spread the cost over a matter of three months, we'll take the first payment today, the second payment in four weeks' time, and then the next payment four weeks after, so that's over two months, um, you'll get the whole collection. But we won't wait until you've made your final payment. Oh, no. No, give us... Do everything today. Come on the phones. Give us your details. I will send it all out to you, and then we'll continue to take the money from you. It's a great way to buy. It's an interest-free way to buy, and it means you get what you want when you want it. So you can make and create. And here's some beautiful examples. Uh, oh, this is lovely. Oh, look at this. This says Dad, and this is by Maria. Now, what I love about this is that the circles are so perfect. You've got the pico cutting around each one and the outer one as well, which, again, match perfectly in measurements. But you've also got the lines that run around there as well, not just one, but two. And they are precise. Here's another one using the circles, and here's our point to you. You can spend more time now doing the pico cutting within the card. So before, if you wanted to make a card like this, yes, you would do the detail, but you would also go around the outside as well. Less time doing that, more time doing this. More time making it amazing, and less time finishing it off. Let the hard work be done by those dies. And again, using those two lines as well, and this is something that Linda's going to show us later on and tomorrow, how we can colour in those lines as well. Again, making all the difference to your artwork. Here's another lovely design. This one, uh, that one, by the way, was by Ju Josie Davison. This one is by James, James Richards. Love this. How beautiful is this? Now, a lot of the work has gone into those lovely poppies and the happy birthday that's on there. That's astonishing, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Um, but it's around the outside. It's around the outside, that edging, that's really made this stand out, made the difference, and the other circle as well. You're getting your circles, your rectangles, your ovals, and your squares. You are getting the dies, they're nesting dies, and you're also getting your groovy plates as well with your one-day special that's being dispatched on the 11th of September. We are busy. The best way to order, as always, is the website, because you can head there and you can check on out. Now, if you want the dies on their own, we've got them on a pick and mix. You can choose any two. 
39 pounds and 98 pence it's also on two installments of 19.99 so that's good isn't it uh, maybe you go for the squares and the ovals that's something a little bit different maybe you've not tried that before add them to your basket when you go down to your basket if you're not a freedom member and you want to become a freedom member then you can become a freedom member and if you want to use FlexiBuy you've got the opportunity to do that split the cost into two equal payments um, so that's a fantastic deal for you right we're back with lovely Paul Church how are you I'm very well I'm shocked surprised not surprised <laughs> excited delighted uh, and you'll sleep well tonight I definitely will sleep well yes. tonight um, yeah. for people that have just joined us though um, what is your connection how long have you been with Clarity? Officially I've been with Clarity for two and a half years now mm -hmm. um, on a, but I've known Barbara um, probably for about 15 to 20 years on the circuit sort of seen her around yes. and um, Mark and um, Grace were tiny little kids and they'd come to the shows and everything oh. else um, and I was on the design team probably for about three or four years if not longer beforehand yes um, and um, and she's been trying for years to get me to come up and go, no 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 I work in London it's just a hobby I enjoy doing it um, and things happen in life and one thing led to another and I thought you know what life's too short mm. so I gave up my job in London two and a half years ago and I wish I'd done it sooner Oh, that's brilliant. Really, really do. That is fantastic. Really, really do. And I know Barbara is really appreciative of all the team. It's Clarity a fantastic Sounds. team. It, it really, is. really is. Yeah. What we're going to take a look at? Well, when we was putting this kit together and we, we came up with the, the idea of the, the Pico dies, and I thought, that's great. The yeah. dies are fantastic. And then um, we said, right, well, we need the groovy plates to go with them. So I'm thinking, okay, I can see that. So we've got the dies and then we've got the groovy plates. But that's going to be fantastic just for people using Groovy, but what if you're not into Groovy? Mm -hmm. What would convince me that I need to buy the one day special with the Groovy plates, even if I'm not into Groovy? Yes. So I was having a play around and I worked out that normally with Groovy, um, you can only use parchment. It needs to be a translucent medium, whether it be the designer parchment and I think, but you could never use paper and card. We tried it. Yes. And be because of the fibres within that, even with a light panel underneath, which is fantastic, you still can't see the lines no. very clearly. So what I worked out was that with these plates, once you've cut out your shape, you can overlay it onto the plate and then use the card and paper. Right. Okay, and for me, that was a real sort of changer because I thought this would now mean, even if I'm not into Groovy, yeah. the benefits of having these. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do this plate here, this um, design here, and you can see we've got some traditional parchment, and then we've got card, we've got more white card, and paper. Now, working with um, parchment, we always struggle to attach it to the card. Yeah. So when I was playing, I was sort of doing sort of like, with circles and squares, it brought back years and years ago when I first started crafting. Tea bag folding was a fantastic um, tea craft. Bag tea bag folding. It's a very, very old tradition, I that. and it was based on squares, and you can create like origami and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so by doing some various folds, I mean this is a very simple fold, um, and what I found it by doing that, it gave me these little corners that I can then attach my parchment to. That. Okay, and you'll see on here. I know Andy. I mean, it's perfectly clear on there. You can see these little embossed lines. Yes. So this is on paper, and this is using the groovy plate, plate to do those that like, oh with God, the groovy yes. plate, which you wouldn't be able to do normally. No. Okay. So what I'm going to start off with is when we we was prepping, I was going through it. Barbara's got all these drawers in her studio where we come on the TV and we prep, and then we we do it in stages and everything else. So I was going through and think, right, I can use this, I can use that. So I found this from one of the designs that she used. So to start off with, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring in the piece of artwork. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to take my, whoops, nested square. That other one we'll pick up off the floor in a moment. <laughs> just throwing it everywhere. And then all I'm going to do is position that on there with my groovy tab. And you can see I just need to come down a little bit more and we're just going to position that okay and then we're going to just run that through the machine now what I'm going to do at the same time is cut out the other square on yes. card okay so once we've got that oh yes Kate, lovely Katie from my room. it's all right Katie she's creeping in I threw uh, it on to the pick floor. that up oh thank you Katie thank you, Katie. Thank you. Thank you. 
So there we go. So I'm going to position, so this is our petite card toppers. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to attach that onto there just to hold it in place. Okay. We also have the card toppers on the show. We'll put the details up uh, at the bottom of the screen for those if you do want to go. They're on a uh, pick and mix. And that comes with the bonus folder as well to keep oh, them in. Oh, yeah. So it's really good. There's four different designs. Shenandoah, Rainbow River, Northern Lights and Indian Summer. And they are gorgeous, each and every one. So to have them in that folder as well, you just click through them. Yeah. Exactly what you're and if you buy two, you'll get the whole two sets in that folder. Perfect. Perfect. Head to the website and have a look at those. Okay. So now you can see, we'll just remove this tape here. Very, very slowly. There we go. But look at the detail of that cut That's on there. That's gorgeous. That you couldn't do traditionally. I mean, it's card. You just can't do that. I love that. And then, and then if I'll, I'll hold this up for you so you can see. And then you've still got... You've also, because um, yeah. it, you see that you've got a bit of a beveled edge as well yes. that comes from the die. That is stunning, it really is. You can see, well, I can feel just how sharp, not how sharp, but how precise that is with all those tiny little Vs, all like tiny little teeth. Unbelievable. Okay, so we've also got our piece there. So then what I'm going to do, I'm now going to bring in the corresponding groovy plate. So, again, I can line this up perfectly. Now, I'm going to do the embossing, so I need to make sure I'm face down. And because we've got these little zigzags, or the picots, I can line that up perfectly there. And then, again, this was a tip I got from Linda, because I, I was just holding it and moving it around, and then yes. I'd go around, and then it was a bit wobbly. And, and then Linda said, well, just use the groovy tabs. Well, yeah, it's obvious, really. We would do if we were tracing out normally. <laughs> So why would it be any different? So I'm just going to wipe that over. And now I can do that beautiful line all the way around the outside. And again, so this is where the groovy guard comes in because it will just hold it in place and stops it moving around even more. Now, if you want to go for the groovy accessories, they are at the bottom of your screen right now. You get 20 A5 sheets of clear parchment paper and your groovy guard and the tabs as well. So that is well worth going for, £11.99. Um, it's always good to have the right tools for the trade, isn't it? And if you're starting this as a new craft, happy days. If you've been doing this for a while, then it's great to get some extra tools to help you complete your projects. Exactly, and for me, this is, it's just so much time saving. See, and I can just carry on that there. Okay. And I've now got my beautiful Pico cut with a beautiful double frame around the outside. That looks amazing. Okay. So that would then go on there. And because I haven't done any colour on it, I think, well, how am I going to attach it? I could use brads and yeah. everything else. But what I did was I cut out some circles. Okay. So again, this is on the paper. And then all I'm going to do is, see, for me, this was the key thing. This convinced me why I needed the plates as part of the one day special. Because now, because I've got this guide with the little zigzags or the picots embedded yeah. on the plate, I can line that up on there. Okay. I'll just use a tab to hold it in place. Give it a wipe with the um, tumble dry sheet as well. And then I'm going to use the tool that's got the little ball on it. And all I'm going to do is I can just feel where that goes in. So it now means that I can actually emboss. See, it's the same with the parchment. Yeah. If there's no groove there, then it's not going to do anything. See, and I can follow that, find the other one on the inside and follow that through and then follow it round the outside to give me my double lines, my tram lines as I call them. I love the way you can actually decide how big or how small or how spaced out those circles are going to be rather than relying on a die that's already got it embossed on. You get to choose whether you do one, whether you do two, whether you space them evenly. Um, it's brilliant, absolutely yeah. brilliant. Look at that. I mean, the detail at the very. And that's on very, card. That's on paper. This is oh, so. But I can do it on the card as well. I mean, I could 
If I just bring the square one in just to show you, see the card's even better. So I can line that up perfectly. Okay. So, and then I can go in here, I can just feel where that groove is. Oh, look at and that. Then, and so I can come in, there's another one there. I can come in, and where's the other one? There's the other one just there. Okay, oh, so you can see... All the different combinations, look, Paul, yeah. that you can so do. So when I turn it over, you then get, look at that, very, oh very subtle, goodness. just down love there. Love that, love that. So it will work on your card, your papers, and your parchment. That's why it's a game changer, it really, really is. Thank you so much for that, That's Paul. Right. We're going to come back to Paul in a moment's time, just folding up the corners there just to place it up. on the card. That's Sorry, it. just to show you that. Sorry. That's it. So then we'll just bring that in. Okay, that goes like that. And then all I'm going to do is just open it up, and you do like a sort of a, a double fold. So it's like a little um, fortune cookie. Let's oh, just yes. Put that down, that will help. And then you bring that one in like that. And then you push that one in, and it gives you like a little flower. Oh, yeah. See? And then that goes over the edge. Let's hold it up. See? And you can either do it so it's completely flat to hold yeah. it in place, or if you want a little bit of character to it, you can do it so that it oh, stands that. proud. Brilliant. What great ideas. That's why we've got the world's best with us. We really have. We've got Paul Church and we've got Linda Williams. Um, now, if you do want the designer card that's available on the show, then it's available on a pick and mix. £24.98. Oh, there's some gorgeous packs. Uh, my favourite. I love the Shenandoah and the Northern Lights. Yeah, I'll go for the Northern Lights. They're all so beautiful and all designed by Barbara. They're sensational. So there we go. There's my two. £24.99. Plus that free folder worth five ninety nine. Thank you very much. That'll do. Uh, if you are a Freedom member, of course, it's a delivered price. If you're going for the one-day special, you want to add that to your one-day special, then that will go into your equal payments on FlexiBuy. It's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, I've just thought of something. Am I right in thinking that all those lovely people that bought throughout our birthday celebrations will be able to use their credit that they accumulated through... I've just realised, of course, throughout our birthday celebrations, you were accumulating 10% credit back. And we put that onto your accounts on the 31st of August at midnight. So you can use... Oh, Gets even better. Gets even better. Right, there you go. Woo, everyone's just woke up. Right, this is your one-day special. It is available on FlexiBuy, $39.97 today. You are getting four of the die sets and four of the matching groovy plates. Now, if you were to buy these individually as a pair, they are £39.98. So, you are getting four for the price of three. And because your FlexiBuy is $39.97, that's less than the price of one set. You're saving £40 on your one-day special price. It is brilliant. Let me show you some of the samples that you can make and create to give you that inspiration. Here's a lovely... Right, this is using the square dies to cut out. Yeah, one, two, three, four sets. Uh, but we've also got the smaller sets on the inside. So you've got eight sets of squares. And then you've got the outer part of the square on there as well and the other part of the square on there as well. So we've been able to cut that out because it is a nesting die set. And that's what I mean by a nesting die set. So those have come out of that one particular set. Now, if you like the designs in the centre of these, and my eye did run to these, I love these. These are part of the Tina Cotts parchlets. Um, fantastic designs, they really, really are. And we've got different designs available on the web. What I love about Tina's work is that it's so intricate, so finely detailed in there, but you can just use parts and elements of it if you want to. So that's a really nice way of using those dies. You can see that pico cutting. If you were to make a card like this, you perhaps wouldn't put the pico cutting around the outside because you'd have to do it once and then you'd have to do it again and then you'd have to do it again so you'd probably think oh or you might do these on the inside and not do the outside but that's what finishes it off doesn't it it really does so it means that you'd be able to do this in a matter in a matter of seconds that's the outside work meaning you can spend more more time on the inside work which is what it's all about isn't it we're not taking away doing any of your cutting we want you to do in fact we want you to do more we're encouraging you to do more of that spend time on what you love make more intricate details 
but if maybe you've got dexterity problems, maybe your eyesight isn't as good as it used to be, maybe you're time, limit, time limited or you've got rheumatic um, pains. I get that quite a bit in, in my hand, so sometimes using scissors can be a little bit difficult. But I still want to create and make those lovely borders. Well, you can do because you've got the system right here with your one day special. Let's take a look at some inspiration in a moment's time, but just to remind you, on the 11th of September, this is when these will be dispatching for you. Celebrating 25 years, Clarity Stamps, their jubilee. And what a way to celebrate! Bringing something out which is a world launch and it's going to change the way you craft with your parchment and your card as well. Linda, it's amazing. What are we going to take a look at? Right, I did promise earlier that I'd show you how to colour the edges, oh, the Pico yes. edges. So if you take a look at this card, um, this is one where um, I, I followed a, a design that Tina made. I was quite impressed with what she did. She'd actually, I'll, I'll probably do this, get to this card tomorrow. She'd cut out two circles and used those two circles then to fill the other corners. And, and Tina did it on a larger scale. So I'm trying to make it a bit easier. But if you notice, if you, if you can get a bit closer to the, the little circle there, oh, I've yeah. actually coloured in between the uh, the double outline and I've also coloured the pico edge oh, quite oh, wow. can so you see it's got a, 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 a burgundy oh, tinge to it oh isn't that lovely oh. I mean you can make it oh look at that yeah you oh, can well see that's a so brilliant oh, uh, thank goodness. you Andy he's earning his, uh, his uh, uh. tonight isn't he or if I move this over you can that. see that I actually coloured the um the part that um, i cut the circle out of How? and i made that a little bit thicker not lovely That's, that is lovely you're going to show us how to do it yes i will oh. you wouldn't do that out of um no, you wouldn't. a pico cut uh, edge no, you it'd be too ragged you know so what i'm going to do is um just take a felt tip pen so there's a little bit that i prepared and uh, colour it from the back or the front, it's up to you. On a piece of copy paper, it's simple. All you do is just go around the outside edge and that gives you a thicker line. And for the thinner line, what I did was I took the, um, the sharper edge yeah. and I actually went along the edge like that. And that gives you a coloured, a more delicate coloured edge. That's beautiful. So that is beautiful. It's as easy as that. And if you think as well, you know, if we're going back to, um, let's let's put it on the black for you to see. If you take your circle or square or what have you, and you take your die that you cut your circle or square out of, yes, you can actually use that to trace around. Oh, what a good idea. And then you can make lots of different patterns in there. Or you could put a square die in there, you know. You can use your dies for, for lots of different things, you know. Um, That's brilliant. I love that. So you colour it. It reminds me of Spirograph when yes. I was, when I was um, younger. Exactly, I used to use that. exactly. So lots of different ways to, to use it. 
Mousetrap. I have to mention three. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, exactly. So, so shall I show you how to do how to make an octagon? Oh, please out of a do. square. Yes, because right. then I'll actually know what an octagon is. All right. No, I do know what one is. It's sides. <laughs> okay, so um, find yourself a square first. Okay. Any That's size? Any size? Any size? And I would recommend then you find another square, which is roughly, roughly a quarter. So a lot of them are, you know, you f find the right size. It doesn't have to be exactly a quarter. Okay. So we're gonna. I'm gonna cut out. I'm gonna do it on paper so that you can see it. I'm gonna cut out my square. And now we're entering into the world of paper crafting yes. as well. And that's why these can cross over with your parchment and your paper and your card as well. And you know, if you cut out um, uh, an octagon out of a piece of parchment, you'd have an awful job to match and get a card that will go underneath to get, get it the right. I've seen me making um, a circular pattern and I've got a beautifully cut circle and I put it on my card, I think, oh no, it, the background is making it muddy. Yeah. I need a piece of white card. So there you are, you're drawing around it with a pencil oh. and then you're cutting it out with a scissors yes. and because none of the dies you've got match the circle that yeah. you've done, you know. The, no, you know they do. The, yeah, of course they do. So you do it all together. There we are, so we've got, we've got our square. Okay, now then. Let's see if I can do this. Now, you take this square and you just cut it at an angle. Okay, I think I might... I hope this works now, Janice. I'm sure it will. I'll right for, won't I? I'm sure <laughs> it will. Uh, we've got, how much have we got left on the show? Uh, this hour has absolutely flown by. We've got one minute 45 left on the show. Whatever we don't get finished is absolutely fine because we can continue with the projects tomorrow because we're back at nine o'clock. That's Linda and Paul Church um, who is back tomorrow at nine o'clock. Um, so that'll be absolutely fantastic. But please do remember to check out your baskets tonight during the show because this show will be repeated throughout the night. Although we have the one-day special back on extended delivery, I don't know how long it's going to last. People come in all the time and watch the shows online, if they're watch, uh, working shifts, for example. I just thought you could take a circle and make a moon. <sighs> oh, Couldn't you could you? with all the little peacock yeah, cuts. Yeah, yeah. So there lovely. we are. There's a corner cut off. Okay. So now you I'm do going to invite Paul back exactly in. the same. You do exactly the same, and then you end up with one of those. Look at that. So now you can make an octagon. Now I know what it is. Of course I do. I wrote um, octagon on it. I forgot <laughs> what it was called. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, you know, it's so beautiful to make, make cards that really will look different, but also look amazing, isn't it, Paul? That's right. And it, it's a crossover between groovy and general card making with the combination of the fresh cut dies and the groovy plates. That is amazing, isn't it? Um, I want to thank you both. It's been quite you, an thank evening. Thank you, Janice. It really has. Oh, and weekend. Yes, yeah. it has been a, a quite a weekend. It's going to be quite a day tomorrow as well. <laughs> That's if we've got any left. Remember, the show is repeated. Please check out your baskets. Get hold of this deal now where you can still save £40. Paul, thank you very much. Thank you, Janice. Linda, oh, thank you very thank you, much. Janice. You'll see these guys tomorrow. I've got a day off. I'm going home to shovel soil for oh. the day. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, bless you. Right, Crafting with Dawn Bibby is coming up right now. It's a lot of soil, but I've got you. Uh, Crafting with Clarity One Day Special will be back later on and conjure up love crafts.